And one thing about being retired is I don't have to write those letters of condolence anymore, which is always a difficult thing to do. I'm just here to have a look at the arrangements. Uh, a lot of soldiers from my command have come out here to reinforce and um, I'm just having a look around and seeing the soldiers. We're very fortunate here in Britain. We live in a prosperous, free society for which uh, the armed forces at the end of the day are the ultimate guarantors. Our prosperity and freedom depends on the willingness of mainly youngsters, young men and some young women, to risk their lives uh, in order to maintain that peace and stability and security. You get responsibility, um, very clear responsibility put on you at quite a, quite a young age and, and you grow up being comfortable with responsibility. But the particular risk which, which holds over uh, the military is, of course, the risk of being wounded or being killed on operations. We all know that's part of the deal. Yes, it is an onerous responsibility, sending others to risk their lives. You have that slight feeling in the pit of your stomach that some of these guys may not come back. You know, you try and get your judgments and your decisions as right as you possibly can. You listen, you listen before you make up your mind. You listen to your staff and uh, all of that. But you can't allow that burden to be too heavy, otherwise everything would just sort of grind to a halt. You just make sure that, so far as is humanly possible, uh, the risk is as low as it can be, but you won't get rid of it altogether.